Hello, um, my name is Robert with All In Moving Systems and today we're going to show you how to pack uh, some of the pots and pans and cooking trays you have in your kitchen. This is uh, sometimes a faster process because it's heavy metal, you beat these up constantly through their use, uh, but still you want to pack efficiently, you don't want to pick up the box and feel a bunch of loose items inside. So I'm just going to show you a quick, fast, efficient way um, to get them packed up and also wrapped. Um, some of the lids for the pots and pans, they're not all uh, metal. A lot of them have glass tops so you can see what you're cooking, uh, but make sure that these always get um, individualized and wrapped by themselves just to secure the glass. And again, with the uh, pots and pans, we, need, we want to use a larger size box. A uh, small box, it'll fill up too fast. You don't want to pack in a bunch of small boxes, totally unnecessary. Um, so again, you want to wrap the glass, get some of this out of the way. You want to use it to fill it for one of the walls of the box. You want to get your pots and pans. Now these, you can wrap up or put in and cover when you get inside, but I like to just start off, it's easier just to quickly drape one over and stand it up in the box. Now if you have space inside the big pot you're using and you have smaller items, you can uh, uh, put the pack, with the packing paper inside already, you can use some of these items such as these that can fit inside. You know, super convenient, it saves you space. Something you can get rid of without having to pack individually again and again. Um, over here too, a lot of it's really light, but you want to try to find the heavier items to put on the bottom. Um, you don't want a box that's top heavy, it'll squish and crush the uh, soft items below. So I like to get these out of the way. Um, they're metal, they scratch, they're meant to get beat up. But again, I don't like to hear metal clanking inside the box. Um, it just sounds much better with protection. You can use one sheet, two sheet, whatever works best for you. You usually use the corners. And again, you want to stand these up, it just saves more space and you can stack things a little higher and with the cooking pans, it uh, adds extra protection around the walls of the box. Let's get this out of the way. The standard pans that you guys have in the, in the oven usually fits in these medium sized boxes perfectly. Again, and we like to mix... Uh, some plastics along with the uh, cookware. They're pretty durable. Uh, you want to mix both. You don't want to over pack any of these boxes too much. Um, that way you end up with a heavy box that's typical for you or your movers to pick up and load. Overall, with packing pots and pans, uh, you want to be quick, efficient with it, but at the same time, you want to make sure it's still protected. Let's see here. With uh, pans, you can uh, usually they come in sets, so you can stack you know, large to medium to small. Get a layer on each one, wrap up. That's two sheets that we typically use, and just use the final sheet here for the handle. And fold the ends. Now, depending on how you pack your box, you can put it sideways or standing up. I usually like to do it a little flat, that way you can cover up the top of the box. And it ends up making a nice flat surface on the bottom of the pan. So overall, this is a pretty simple process. Um, this is for long distance, it's for local. Uh, our movers love this technique. Uh, this is something that our guys can pack really fast, especially if they're certified, they know all the fast, good, easy techniques. Um, and again, pots and pans are just as important as everything else. And uh, that'll sum it up for you packing these uh, medium to large boxes with all these. Thank you very much and have a great day.